Welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the image resize dialog box and why it's important. We're in Chapter 8. Go ahead and select Image Resize Miami. Right-click, Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor, so that we're in the editor. And let's talk about a few things. Let's go to Image, Resize, Image Size. Shortcut Alt-Control-I, a very handy shortcut to know. This is going to bring up this dialog box that confuses many people. But if we notice that within this dialog box, there's a black border around pixel dimensions and a black border around document size. If you're concerned about output via the web, email, or Facebook, then you're only worried about the top part. You don't even have to worry about this bottom part, not at all. What does this top part tell us? This top part tells us that the photo that we open is 4,288 pixels across by 2,848 pixels in height. If we multiply these two together, we get 34.9 megapixels. Well, I've noticed that a beginner's mistake, well, they would go, okay, I have my photo. It looks good on the screen. looks about the right size. Let me go to File, Save for Web. But then there's a dialog box that comes up and tells you, hey, there's a, or a, a warning box, excuse me. It tells you, hey, this, this is, this is, you're going to have problems. Well, sometimes we'll click yes. Don't click yes. Click no. Why is it a problem? Well, let's actually look at the actual pixels. So let's click on the zoom tool. This is going to show us 100% one-to-one. And look at this. This photo is huge. How, how huge is this photo? How do I know? Well, let's, let's make it fit in view. Let's go to view, rulers. And the rulers is going to tell us this is a 14 point something by 9 point something in size, inches. So you could imagine sending a 14 by 9 inch picture to someone, which is 34.9 megapixels. This is huge. So if you try to send this, it's going to take forever to send it. Can you imagine the person on the other end? It's going to take forever to receive it. So if, a, if it takes forever to receive it, the person is just going to automatically say, well, I don't want to download it. I don't care. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to take my time. So what we have to do is we have to go back up to this image, resize, image size, when we need to change the pixel dimensions. So if we know that we wanted 600 width pixels, across to put it on Facebook, then we would change it to 600 and our height automatically adjusted because they're linked together is going to change to 399 and you're going to see that the parentheses was the original size, here is the new image size. Now you may ask yourself, well what happened to those other pixels? Well because if we look down here and we receive resample as checked, which allows us to, to change the width and height, if we uncheck it we can't, but if we check it we can Resample an image means that, let me change it back to 600. Resample means I'm going to throw away some pixels in order to get it to this um, 700.5K. I'm going to throw the pixels away. That means they're gone, they're not coming back. That's what resample an image means. When I click OK, you can see that the image is now reduced. If I were to zoom into 100%, it's going to show me this is the 100%, the, you know, the 700 by whatever, which shows me that it's going to be now 2 inches by 1 point something. Okay, now what if I were to go to File, Save for Web, it's going to allow me to save this picture even smaller by JPEGing it or PNG, but at least it's now more of a manageable size. The picture still looks pretty good, so 600 pixels you can get away with. Okay, so let me go back, let me undo fit in view. Image, resize, because I want to bring it back here. Now let's talk about the bottom part. So we know the top part, if I want to reduce my image to a certain amount of width or height so I can do it for the web, so I can use the save for web command, then I'm going to be messing with the pixel dimensions. Okay, so let's talk about document size and what does this mean? This means that right now I have a 14 inch, it can be something else if you want, but I have a 14 inch by 9 inch photo with a resolution of 300. Okay, that's great. So my resolution is great. Resolution should be between 240 to 300 plus or minus. You can experiment with your printer. Resolution means that this is how many, when the print is going to be DPI. So it's going to be how many dots per inch. So I'm going to have 300 dots in one inch for 14 by 9. So it's going to be pretty good. Um, if you want to change the resolution or change the width and height, we need to uncheck resample. And by unchecking the resample, this means I'm not going to be throwing any pixels away. I'm just going to be messing around with this box, which is good. So you always want to make sure that if you're going to be playing around with these little dimensions, 
uncheck resample first, then go ahead and make your changes. So if I wanted to 6 by 4, I would probably say 6 by, oh, but my height's 3.9. Well, that's not good. I need a 6 by 4. So I usually go back up and change it to 7, so at least I can get the 4 part. And then I'll use the crop tool to make a 6 by 4. And my resolution is 612. That's overkill, but hey, at least I got my 7 by 4. That's okay. That's fine. Now I go back and check resample image, and you can see that Look at that, my pixel dimensions is the same. This is great. So I didn't throw away any pixels. Okay, so now I'm gonna press OK. And you notice the picture didn't change. Well, that's kind of weird. The pixel didn't change because you didn't um, throw away any pixels. That's why it didn't change. And that can kind of confuse people. When we check the resample, that's actually throwing away pixels. So yeah, your image is gonna change. But we didn't do that because we unchecked it. We played around with the dimensions and then we checked it back. So now if I wanted a 4 by 6 I would use a crop tool and then choose 4 by 6 and then draw my crop. And then I would move my crop into the position and then check the green check mark. And this is my new 4 by 6. And if I come up to image, resize, image size, I can see now I have a 6 by 4 with a resolution of 634. That's fine. But now my image is now 27.6 because I actually threw away some of those pixels because I was cropping to a 6 by 4. So let me click cancel, undo this, and then choose image, resize, image size, uncheck resample so I don't mess with the pixel dimensions. Okay, so remember we can just reset this again. So if I, if I click the Alt key, I can reset it, uncheck resample, and let me try putting 30 in the height. Okay, so now I've got a 30 height and then I can use my crop tool to get to maybe a 30 width but my resolution dropped to a 94 so if an acceptable level is 260 to 300 while well, 94 seems really really low well I will go ahead and click resample now and then I would choose bicubic smoother best for enlargement okay and hopefully with a 94 um, DPI um, hopefully we can get away with that because what I'm thinking is that if you're going to choose a 30, in, uh, a 30 inch height you're probably going to have this viewed from a distance. If it's viewed from a distance it doesn't need to be as detailed as if you're looking at it closely so you probably can get away with that. Now let's say for sakes that I started out with an image that was 600 by 399 and I wanted a 4 by 6. How can I do that? Well what we're seeing here is that I don't even have an almost an inch in width and not even an inch in height but I noticed that my resolution is 612. So first thing I want to do is if I want a 6x4, I'm going to uncheck resample so I don't mess with my pixels up here because I don't have much to um, give away. And I'm going to change my resolution to 300 because remember 300 is great, but this only brings it up to a 2 to 1. So let me try 240, which is a little bit lower, and I can get it to 2.5, 1.6. That's about as high as I can get it. Now let me check reset sample and then choose um, by cubic smoother best for an enlargement. Now if I wanted to still that 4 by 6 you you have a choice. I think in Photoshop you can get away with a 10 to 20 percent enlargement. So in this tutorial we learn how to mess with the pixel dimensions. We also learn how to change the document size and the difference between a resample and resolution.